Welcome, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Carolyn and this is your weekly energy update. It's for November 21st through 27th, 2022. We are starting Sagittarius season this week and we've got the Sagittarius new moon as well on the 23rd. The same day Jupiter goes direct. So this is gonna bring a lot of positive movement forward for new earth essentially and bringing in God's rulership back onto the earth here. Um, and, a, and this new beginning here of God's covenant um, bloodline, new heaven, new earth, new Jerusalem, and this restart that we're all going through with this paradigm shift that's happening now and this transcendence that we're going through as well. So there's more energy now of God coming in and that we are having our anointing. And I was hearing as I was lying at the cards, sitting at God's table, some more about this table and the wedding of the lamb energy is coming in really strongly. It was coming in very strongly uh, in the love reading as well. But right now I'm seeing it as connections, a lot of soul connections, uh, reunions are happening. And some of this might be with star, family our star seed family and our star homes you know not so much the earthly families that we've incarnated to in these karmic relationships it's now returning to soulmate relationships and um and or even healing the c point cause of all of the karma that created a lot of karmic relationships that that inception point is clearing so that we can all reunite back together based on unconditional love and unity so the c branch and the c point of that creation is what's um just being removed right now here so that we can have this big time of upgrades so this is now talking more about the new beginning scorpio season was really huge for our launch off into this new cycle this rebirth as well and that had that eclipse energy and the north node and the south node eclipses so there's more movement now that we've gone through that taurus north node uh full moon eclipse to get us onto this new journey and following our north node our true destined path now in this cycle and we've completed that south node karmic lessons and chapter and this is completed with the earth and um with heaven as well so all these paradigms are cl cl closing these chapters are closing and we've been witnessing and living through this collapse since 2020 so now it's time to continue moving forward and start this new cycle that was showing up last week so let's see how the energies are continuing this week into this new beginning we've got the sun card coming through again it was coming through last week it says um the, the crystal sunstone and it says i am optimistic and appreciate all i have so this was actually some of the energies from last week as well um we have initiation some of the energies that have been showing up is just like the simplified energy being grateful for what you do have and seeing life from this new perspective so we're moving forward into this new cycle more things that are more simple you know you're not like the full car we're not taking a lot with us but what we do have what is coming with us is very important to us and we're grateful for what we do have and ready to start this new beginning from that mindset as well and then we have number 22 banishing your demons invoke the agartha alliance so agartha is that energy of um the promised land basically here as well and it's part of the rapture is what i'm hearing right now and the return back to eden and so this is in the north and this is the land that we have not been allowed to go to as well so um sorry i'm just receiving a bunch of information so it's like the alliance from agartha is um the this team of light there that has it's a different paradigm it's a different world and it's a different land and they don't interfere they're high highly intelligent beings and they don't interfere with what's going on in this paradigm as well on the earth in these other areas of the earth so it's, it's a separate world basically um so it's like calling on those beings here to help us complete this mission and go back home to this sacred land um, and so this could be what it's all about for you or getting into this new um, alignment with yourself starting this new beginning here there's like the sun and the moon in this cards as well so it does feel like there's a portal is what I'm hearing 
it could be with the 22 day that this is coming through on um, either way it's like the separate what I feel is like it's the separation has happened so what did keep you trapped and blocked from moving on and stepping it back into this high vibration high frequency that you are that that's now trapped like it can't come with you and um it can't hold you back any longer either so it's contained and like she's like this huge being over these demons now so this could be happening like uh as your energetic alignment that you are bigger stronger more powerful they can't affect you you know you're in a different position now you've birthed this is like the birth card that was coming through last week this rebirth is happening here where you're in a very powerful new position and you know these entities are below your feet um you've conquered it all right so this is a new beginning for you in this new life cycle and that's this is just the foundation of what's beginning there, there was a lot of moon clearing we did in the love reading and the extended love reading of systems that could have been controlling us through the moon and these alien things and i'm hearing the gregorian calendar again like this time saturn matrix um control systems as well as saturn agenda is what i'm hearing right now so it's like this could be all and so we broke all these spells right so this could also be part of what's happening this week um and the sagittarius new moon could kind of be like the 22nd and the 23rd could be that window of this these spells breaking so they can't control these demons entities can't control us through mind control and manipulation and electronics either is what i'm hearing as well and so they they would use that moon system to do that right and so we we broke those spells as well but this has been going on for years this is not new and um but this could be like the finale of that system not incepting itself and affecting the brain waves the mindset the belief systems and like the the consciousness and the subconscious mind as well so it's like controlling the way you think and believe and act right it's like a program that's broken here so this could certainly be end of that as well and it's like the ego mind and not being ridiculed is what i'm hearing any longer taken advantage of like the system could have been using people to attack you ultimately as well right so and punish you is what i'm hearing so if that's all broken those people won't behave that way they're not programmed their software is not telling them to run that program and behave that way and execute that plan and then you're not also having to deal with it either right so there could be a, a big releasing of a whole bunch of things that are happening right now um I'm hearing incubus and succubus are no longer either. So there's an energy here that will affect the sacral chakra, the womb chakra, and um, Lilith, and that entity, that serpent, that reptilian in Eden that affected us and consumed us is what I'm hearing in consumerism and keeps us trapped under addictions. And, um, you know, Lilith attacks marriages and families and children and keeps unions apart and keeps draining our light sexual life force energy as well right so it's and harvesting it so it's like all these things that we're attaching to humanity are coming to a, an exposure is what i'm hearing collapsing so and it feels like more that you're now like going beyond all this now and this is where the initiation is like your role in all of that is over i'm feeling like these things are like close to you anymore it's not something like you have to deal with on a daily basis anymore either it's like the end and finale of these things interfering in your life and like the sun is coming in um you can be more positive and have like um more optimistic now moving forward because you're not having to deal with so much crap <laughs> from these demons um constantly day and night you know in attacks so uh the next card we have is joyful beginnings amen to that we're ready so it's magdalene's reverie so this could be attack att attack against the feminine right and that lilith again is like um the attack against creation the divine feminine christ uh using you know calling the divine feminine christ the horror you know painting a picture that the dark feminine was carrying that lilith actually was you know she would use lust and temptation succubus and incubus to lure and trap men and um steal that energy from the feminine here as well and then they painted mary magdalene to be that 
whore, right? Yeah. Rather than the whore Babylon. So it's just like this system, I think, is also collapsing in a bigger picture way here as well. And our own feminine bloodline is free. The feminine within all of us is free. We're able to begin this new earth paradigm, the age of Aquarius. It's all about the goddess age and bringing in this prana and using that rose template the divine feminine christ the new mother energy here which is love which is family mentorship unity taking care of the children taking care of ourselves creation i am seeing the matrix like the movie right now as well so there can be something with that but um and there's a healing of the body that's happening and restoring our natural powerful abilities of healing and uh, creating um all of our needs being met and supplied for basically as well right and this is what has been the empire an entire piscean age was blocking and preventing that so uh, and suppressing the divine feminine christ right so it's like we're recovering that back now here getting our power back as well over all of that and like the shift is happening we have the page of swords Ametrine crystal it says I take care of the details and stay in control so this is that energy that's coming through here it's um, sovereignty empowerment and it's not coming from the ego or from anger or hate it's coming from your your feminine power and um, standing in your position here so and there's an alignment it's like your birthrights you know it's like you the shift has happened here so it's like your in control now and you can use your knowledge you can use your wisdom you can use the lessons you've learned um you can rebuke and cast out these demons in the name of jesus christ and not let it that agenda take over and cause emotional influx and um, take you out of the body and cause all this chaos in your world any longer. It's like getting balanced and centered over all of that and staying in control of yourself, not letting the ego take control, the emotions take over, um, you know, create things that aren't real because of the emotions or the mind as well. So it's like being really logical and um, clear and it's just being clear and grounded and it just feels like another form of enlightenment is happening wow we've got the same girl here coming through with emergence so I, i'm feeling like you've gone through the chrysalis is what i'm hearing you're coming out the other side um this initi initiation energy was so much showing up last week it's just like you've gone through so much and there's, i'm seeing the moon cycles above her head again here as well so there's certainly something with the moon going on um that's affecting the energies for everybody this week however it's going to be but there's it's like you're con you're coming out of the difficulty here and again like trusting your path you didn't you know you were walking in faith and now it's like you've gotten over the worst now and you've completed that and you're seeing more that's ahead of you here the path that was opening up last week is continuing to open here and more of your powers coming back basically here is what it, like the sun and this emergence and this power is um to conquer everything that used to keep you trapped and held back it's like you're you're flipping out of that and you're you're the one in power now like the first shall be last the last shall be first it's like truly feeling like this is a position where you're being put first now and the feminine within you is being put first as well and her birth rights her power her abilities and you can use this uh as a tool now moving forward here so the final cards we have is listen to your heart redwood transcendence number 34 with the eight of wands it's the garnet crystal um i manifest multiple opportunities beautiful and then connection here and it's like a divine connection coming through so mind heart body soul and the spirit is what i'm hearing that this this upgrade is happening there's a um clearing that's definitely happening off of you it could be with the sun okay the sun and the moon and all these energies clearing off of you and you're getting this light body upgrade here this week this healing is what i'm hearing is happening for you and it's going to open this door to more opportunities and it's it's like i think you're seeing this opening up for you now as well you're feeling it and the shift of energy that's happening for you where I think suddenly 
you feel like a new version of you and you do see that there is new opportunities opening up for you here so <clears throat> it's like new earth opportunities as well and it just feels like this old timeline is very much for you and for all of us here watching that this is collapsing here there is soul connections happening as well and this is bringing these new opportunities as well so it's going to be new earth connections reunions um reunion with yourself as well connection with yourself it's the number nine here which is my number for the divine feminine christ like that reconnection the masculine and feminine reunion within reconnecting with your own divine feminine christ within her power and sovereignty and building this back up within you here so it's like we've been separated from so much of ourselves here so this is that recovery that's happening and so there might be a final clearing and transmutation of what prevented you from accessing your true north node is what i'm hearing this true soul's calling as well here and using these feminine energies to help you nurture thrive evolve grow expand in these new opportunities create this new earth lifestyle that you want for yourself have loving harmonious healthy connections as well you're not wounded you're not attracting the wrong relationships that karma is also over here as well and just starting this new path and having healthy soulmate relationships with yourself and with other people as well and starting this new path so it does feel like a beautiful new expansion is happening here um it might be aligning the heart and the heart chakra with listening to your heart that this is this heart healing and mending and merging is happening on this week and having closure with all of this drama stuff that happens to you and like joyful beginnings aligning with the beginning um where your heart opened unconditional love in that unity consciousness and we, because we've been going down through this process of taking down the walls around the heart and the heart chakra because of all the abuse that we've endured right and that's the emotional body the feminine channel so it's like after years of narcissistic abuse and trauma and childhood trauma and these sorts of things like we have um a perception of reality that's been groomed around that because of all of the, uh, these experiences so this is a shedding of those layers as well and we've been processing through in the eclipse season really helped us transmute all of that off of us so that we can be more heart opened again and open up and share love with the right people but have boundaries right set healthy boundaries see the red flags, see the demons, you know, not be tricked again and gaslit and love bombed and um, fall for narcissistic abuse and these old patterns as well, you know. And so it's like a fine dance of figuring out how to protect yourself, but still be heart opened, you know, and not shutting yourself off from opportunities and relationships because you don't want to get hurt again either, right? And so, so much inner child healing and trauma wounds that we've had to heal as well just to get to these points and the, the cellular memory, the ancestral karma and all this stuff, right? So, you know, all about it. Um, so this could be, this is more of a new chapter that's forming now here and really evolved, evolved version of you now and ready to start fresh and um, attract love as well. That's the point of attraction is now aligning with healthy connections and healthy opportunities that you can grow with together now in this beautiful new beginning that's commencing this week as well. So if you would like to join us for this week's extended reading, we're going to go deeper into this reading and get more cards. We're working with the crystal medicine card deck this week. And we're also doing the shamanic light language healing in this extended reading as well. We do God code light language and heal and align you and everything that's coming through for this week and activate to banish the demons, um, activate you with Agartha as well. Whatever it is that might be coming through for us this week to align with that you, if you'd like to join us and participate with us this week, you can access it on the Vivio link. It's right down below. And I do list down below some of the energies if you'd like to participate with us this week as well. Um, if you do need more support from me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, I have opened up private sessions. It's a video session and we go deeper and do all the shamanic healing work on whatever topic and area of your life that you need support with and heal and align you and activate you and everything else that comes through so that you can have 
um, closure especially to what has been holding you back in life and have this beautiful new beginning commence for you as well so if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one session with me the link is down below for that I also do a daily card reading Monday to Friday it's on Instagram telegram and YouTube and a weekly newsletter is through my website at 144godcode.com I also supply all of this information with daily healings as well in my 144 membership portal so if you'd like to connect and make new connections with your tribe in the portal the link is down below for that as well thank you so much for joining me god bless you and have a very blessed week take care